What do you want? Make up, make up, what do you want to do? Do you want it or not? No, do you want it or not? Well, it's alright. Sorry, guys. We can't make a decision. <laughs> So, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, as you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, we've bought a van. Um, and I'm doing this in the future because I never did an intro for this video. Um, but yeah, essentially, the reason why we bought this van is because there's no other options, really. Um, it's either pay diesel six times there and back, and we get them even further away. The further we go down, I mean Cambridge is going to be about two and a half hours away from Dad's work. And we're not going to be able to afford that diesel, are we? So the only other option was staying in a hotel, but that's £300 a week. Um, or was there someone local we could stay at, uh, like Jade? But unfortunately Dad can't stay at Jade's house. Um, she was only 20 minutes away. But um, And then the last option we had was sleeping in the car. and. You can't really sleep in that Saab and in a saloon, really. So the last option we had was to buy a van. And I um, had this idea for quite a while, but Mum was really not open to it. She did not want to get a van. Um, but in the end, I managed to convince her otherwise, because it was the cheapest option that we had. Um, and we should have done this in the first place, really. But I saw this van on Facebook. It was £1,100, 12 months MOT. And it had only done 76,000 miles. Most fans you see on Facebook probably had done like 200,000 miles. And it was and it was only about 30 minutes away. So the next day we decided to go and have a look. Look at all this froth all over the canal. Yeah. And it's um, day. about 22 or quarter to 8 now, I'm not sure. Um, okay, I might have to go and change the top. We're up early. Oh. Lovely day. I'm sure I'll explain to you why we're doing this um, in the intro. But yeah, we're going to have a look at a van. And I told you the reasons why, so we don't have to explain it now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go to Nottingham. I can't remember the name of the village. 30 minute drive it is. Um, looks like a really good deal. Yeah. Um, it's, it's quite old, but... 2002, yeah. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, you really need just something for... More practical, really. Just shove the bikes in. Mm. And Andy can stay a couple of nights. Because the trouble is, it's going to cut... You know, we're getting further away, and this is a good job. And people might say, oh, why didn't he change his job? But this is a good job for him. He enjoys it. He gets on with the people. Yeah, you can't keep doing that to people quitting. And we can't keep months. doing that. You know, after six months, like... Josh said, so we're gonna um, we're gonna stick with it. Yeah, he, you know he's in charge of the kitchen. He loves it. It's, it. It is busy, but that's due to Andy building it up. So it's quite good. This is a lovely, quiet little spot, guys. I haven't even been disturbed here. You do get people walking along. We've seen no one. Might be people, but we haven't seen them. Yeah, I definitely recommend this. If you've got cats, I want a nice quiet spot. What the hell? What are the floodgates doing closed? I've got, got the cans of diesel here and I can't get out the car. <laughs> there it is behind. What do you want? Make a decision. What do you want to do? Do you want it or I not? I don't give a Andy. No, do you want it or not? Well, it's all right. Sorry, guys. We can't make a decision. <laughs> no, I prefer, I prefer this car. But... So Andy prefers this car, but then we've got a problem with staying anywhere. The discussion of whether to buy the van or not went on for about 45 minutes. And at one point, Mum sent Dad to say no. But Dad offered 800 and then he came back at 900 And that was an offer Mum couldn't refuse. We kept talking it over if we got the van, if we didn't, and eventually we decided to get it. Well, we're in the van. Yeah, we're driving it through Nottingham now. Um, <laughs> the thing's just falling. That fell off. <laughs> we can Making smell a really big knocking back there because of the ramp. <laughs> we can smell the brakes. Yeah, I think we can smell brake smoke because oh. it's just put new brakes on, I think. Um, Why do we do this to ourselves, George? 
and the gauge, the fuel gauge, keeps <laughs> going up and down. So we need to put some petrol in and see if that's. Because he hasn't been driven for a while now, I think. No. And he reckons his new brakes, but like, it's got, it's a, it's just had an MOT. Mm. So this is why we got it because it's got MOT till next April, isn't it, Josh? Yeah. But the only reason he MOT. got it because he got caught drug driving. Yeah, he's not. That's why he's not. Can't use it. Yeah, he got caught. He's disqualified for eighteen months. Yeah. That's why he's getting rid of it. Seems like a genuine reason. And he, he was a really nice bloke, actually. Really yeah, nice. nice guy. You know, he's had a dodgy past. Um, but, yeah, he seems yeah, genuine. Nice guy. Yeah, nice guy. Just try and get out of Nottingham now. <laughs> Third Liddles we passed. No, how is yet. Continue for half a mile. I know it's two lanes. Right, so I'm back at the van, guys. Um, yeah, a few niggly, niggly little bits of it. Let's get a new stereo. Um, fuel gauge looks a bit dodgy. Sometimes it goes up and down. I don't know if that's to do with hills and stuff. You know, all the petrol going back and further in the tank and getting a false reading. Um, but the main problem is, well, the key isn't like this, don't worry. The battery seems to be dead, so I've got to replace the battery, and um, so that I can lock it centri uh, remotely. But um, the battery, we don't have one. It's a CR1220. Um, Dad needs to get one. I don't think I'm going to be able to remove this. It seems to be. Joined. And if I remove this, if I remove the whole thing, then there'll be a hole in the bottom because um, that obviously goes below the bumper. Uh, uh, I don't know. Right, so I can't remove this. The only way of doing it is, is literally angle grinding it. That is the only option. So if I remove the whole thing, there'd be a great big gaping hole at the bottom. Could get a replacement bumper, but that is a lot of hassle. So, yeah. I've moved this back so it's latched in now. It should make it more secure so it shouldn't rattle. Uh, I could try and move this top ramp, but I don't know how. Isn't this, what you call them, that you can't take off once they're on? Broken, all the threads are broken. See, so tighten them up, they don't go any tighter. Eventually I did find out that these bolts went all the way through to the bottom of the car That's and were bolted on. I don't have big enough screws though at the moment. Put some screws in there and that should hold it down. Just been measuring all the windows to put curtains in. Gonna need quite a lot to be honest. Quite a lot. We decided to leave our lovely offside mooring because we needed to be a bit closer to the van because we were gonna stay here for a few days and I was gonna fit it out for the next weekend for dad. But instead of turning around, we decided to go around one of these side channels which is the natural course the river saw what we were down was a cutting there are boats moored down here but everyone came out of the woodwork to see why there was a boat coming down this channel I really don't know the rules on if you are allowed down here or if you're not but nothing ventured, nothing gained We planned to turn as we came back onto the cutting, but the current was so strong it was just pushing Olive downstream and we couldn't turn. 
So we had to go a bit further on and some people shouted at us from the marina saying, oh, you can turn around down there, mate. It's a lot wider. So we headed downstream a little bit and uh, tried to turn there. Well now guys, look. Van won't start. Trust us. To buy a dodgy van. Alright, so what I've been doing is got this spare ply from the gates. I've been um measuring here for a counter. About 32 inches long and about 22 inches high, I believe, and about 13 inches wide, so you can have his little grill there if he wants it, maybe a bit of sink in at some point, got some under, under cupboard storage there, it's a bit curved there, so I'll probably have to do a little cut out there, then I'll put in a bit of trim. <laughs> you got to be. He's just been put. He's just passed. He's just passed. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. And a subscriber of all the what are the odds? Yeah. His lovely family are just driving past. Well, um, you might be our hero. You might be our hero if we can get this started. So what have I got to do then? <laughs> I don't know if it's a battery issue. You need to try what I can't. Started! <laughs> what the hell? I don't really want to turn it off now, I've got to turn it off or... <laughs> so maybe it was the battery then? That's yeah, what I'm thinking. Oh, I'm trying to do my woodwork now. <clears throat> so I've cut out this for the back. Where it curves in the wall. Um, were not they nice? They saved the day. I think what it was is the battery is dead in the Q-Fob and I took the other half off because we're getting a new battery today. So I tried to start it with just one side of the Q-Fob without all the circuitry on. And um, that maybe, you know, didn't unlock the immobiliser. And then I drained the battery to try to start it so many times, you know? I think that's what's happened. And now it's pissing down. I'm quite impressed with myself here. Look at that cut. That was just guesswork. And I've actually done a really good job of it. Because finding the right cut and angle for that is very hard to do. So better off just guessing it and I've guessed it pretty well. That's perfect. Alright, these are the walls for the um the counter. So we got one here and one here. <clears throat> and they also act as a support for it. But um, yeah, it's perfectly 22 inches, uh, sorry, eight, 16 inches wide. And both walls are gonna be eight inches, so that's perfect. <clears throat> All I have to do is chop it in half. Jigsaw is awful. Yeah, um, it hasn't cut very well, has it? Use error and uh, the jigsaw being very, very old and rubbish. <clears throat> Probably should just use the circular saw, really. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get some trim for it to cover up all the horrible edges. Cut a couple of mounts as well so I can mount this to the floor. Luckily, there is wood, a wood floor. 
Um, so I can just screw this in. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll screw it into these first, and then I can then screw it to the ground. So then, you know, obviously I can't screw underneath the van up into this. So I need these mounts. Right, so that's pretty much the counter in. It's not screwed in enough, and I just put in it there as example for you guys to see. Um, seats in. Well, it's not in, but that's where it's going to be. The guy who took this, who had this before, he took it out and uh, didn't leave the bolts in there for us. So we've got to buy all new bolts to go into here. I'm not sure what they are. I have to have a look. I reckon they're, uh, I don't know, 10 mil. But um, yeah, that's pretty much where it's going to go. So that's this little table there. Um, just got to put the mounts on. Which are here, and then uh, we can get it down. And um, yeah, obviously there'll be a cupboard door here. What I've done now is I've moved this back wall here bit forward past the um, the hinge or the lock for this ramp because otherwise it gets in the way um, so pretty much that will overhang that side but it's not a problem because you can store things the other side of that and that means that I can put in a cupboard wall here no problem and um, put in a door or two for the cupboard that's all right and if i screw this down it'll make um it'll make this a lot stronger you know yeah i've had to trim this bit of wood here obviously because we've got the bracket in the way here and um that should keep it there the bracket because as i mentioned before these bolt holes are completely worn out because of the wood underneath here the, tr uh, the um ply chipboard ply um, but yeah, I think I might start melting this down now. Drew a little couple of holes and I got this tiny little thing just to drill out the holes. Because um, all the other ones I have are the big ones, which are more appropriate. I've snapped. Uh, this is essentially going to stop the wood from splitting. Nice, pick a couple of screws in. There's one in, no split. As you can see, I've just screwed one screw in and it went in beautifully. Didn't need two really. Two screws will do. That must be pretty. Two holes in here now to connect the supports with the top. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's all screwed down and um. When you move this chair, it's very wonky, that, like wobbly that way, because it's got no, you know, it needs to be mounted that way somehow. Um, but once the chair's down, it's going to be solid and it's not going to move at all. The reason there's a gap down, I want a gap there, is because we're going to have a curtain here, of course, and uh, we need somewhere for the curtain to go. I've right, got to make the cupboard doors now. I want two. About 26. It is the space from one um, mount to the other, from one end to the other. So 13, we want to cut it at 13 and um, make two doors for the cupboard. And that'll do, I think. Um... What? I can't. 
can't hear you. She's got my new jumper. <laughs> Nearly perfect. Um, not too much of a problem. I use the straightest sides to join the um, hinges. And then all I do is I put a little bit of trim that overlaps um, on one of them just to cover up the join, you know, because there'd be a gap you can see through. Right, so here's me cupboard doors. Um, I think I'm going to put the hinges on the outside just because this isn't straight, that isn't straight. <coughs> and some of it's to do with me, some of it's not. Some of it's just the wood is literally bent. Um, yeah, what I need to do now is I need to find out. So it'll go on the outside like this, the outside of wood, so it'll cover up those joins. Um, and I need to find out this gap below, and this is where I'm going to put that bit of trim I talked about earlier. And whatever's sitting down here, that means it won't move you. Know? There we go, we've got our trim at the bottom now. And that's sort of the basis of what it's going to look like, but trust me, it will look a lot better than this. It's a lot of work. Um, yeah, the hinges will be on the outside. And this, you know, it will overlap it. It won't sit on top of it. <clears throat> Here he is. This isn't working. Dad came back with the curtains. This is the curtains. Better quality than I thought, actually. Let's put you there and then I can show you. Um, yeah, perfect. Perfect fit, actually. Um, trying to have to do one end. But I've got the wires and magnet hooks so we can uh, just hook them on. Yeah. yeah, we've got four of those and then we've got black for the back. Right there. So we've got our black curtains as well. These are for the partition and for the tailgate window there. Because I couldn't get the same ones on Amazon. I could I could have got black ones of those, but they were a lot more expensive. They were only nine quid for a, yeah, for a set. The motor in here, if it is the motor that's gone, I'll take this out and check it. The motor in here is only uh, ten quid, twelve pounds. Oh, that's good then, isn't it? So I can Cheap. replace the motor. Guess what, guys? Everything came except, except for the bloody stereo. Bluetooth radio. So we we've can't got to run do that. we wires in through the back anyway, haven't we? So we're back at Mrs. Van Ruby Red. I don't know if it's Ruby Red yet. You've got to come up with these names, haven't you? With these things. Oh, anyway, yeah. We're back next day. And um, <coughs> go to Wix today. Back on holiday Monday though. But yeah, I think she'll be open. But um, I'm going to put the curtains in this morning. Five metres. And it's worked out about a bit above five metres. To be with you. <coughs> so that's why I want to do this this morning. Just to, you know, know how much I need of everything. <coughs> Hopefully. It's 15 quid, really. Go for 26 and a half for now. Alright, actually got some proper thingy my jigs now. There you go. Easy. And now I'm guessing we just screw these in. This slide, I don't know if I can stop them from sliding somehow, obviously, because it's pain. Opted for magnets, it's because I didn't want to, you know, I can tap some holes in there to put some screws in, but um, I wanted to, in case I made a mistake with where the holes were positioned, I wanted to be able to adjust you know where 
the the, the mounts were for the curtain. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to find some spare bolts to do the uh, the turn. So I've done four of those for the side windows. That's for the rear. But um, strong stick screws in case of an accident. Mm. Oh, I don't want cheap ones. Oh. I should have made the table an inch smaller. That's weird. Why is that one not good? Weird, isn't it? Some of them. Huh? It looks like they've been bent over time. Uh, that's that's it. It's out of charge now. Oh, now I've got to do everything by hand. No, you just go get the next other battery. Could do. Depends which one you find more effort. The thing is because he put bikes in here and stuff, he's going to use it as a van. But why didn't he keep... He kept the brackets in here but not the bolts. Um, but the trouble is he might need to drive sometimes. It only fits one bum in it, so Dad couldn't sit on the other. I know, I just sat there in his <laughs> tiny little seat. He shut the door so Mum could look out. <laughs> See out in the tinted window. Okay. Of course, I can see out in the tinted window. They're tinted at the back anyway, you don't even need curtains. Only like 25% tint. <laughs> don't even need curtains. What have you done then? Because. So, the windscreen wipe is missing at the back. And um, it's spraying. But we don't think this motor's working. Yeah. Check the uh, yeah. electric coming from that. There's power coming through, there's a good ground on it, so there's no problems there, so it's the motor. But the motor wasn't reading anything. Yeah. So. You buy the whole thing, this whole complete thing. Oh, that's for the back door, Mum. Because we, sort of, we were sorting out the back windscreen wiper. <sighs> I've got it sorted now, but I need a new motor. That's really yeah, but weird. I'm just saying. I know, I'm just saying. bits to make the bed. That's the channel we came down. <laughs> um, yeah, it's taken us a long time to sort out insurance. Yeah, 30 quid though. We got it's it for 33 pounds just for like eight days. So that's that's days. the one I went for when I got Granddad's car. So it's really cheap. We've got to try and sell the Saab now. Though. Yeah, we've got a week to sell the Saab yeah. now. So. We might have to stay where we are for a little bit longer. I don't know. Wood here. It's our ply for our bed. Twenty-seven pounds. <laughs> Quite hard for Dad to. <laughs> Might have to put a quilt underneath or something. It's got the air mattress. It's like six oh, inches thick. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. yeah. Put the air mattress. But yeah, it has to be this thick, obviously, because of the weight. And um, yeah. it's only two foot wide. But, but that should be fine. Yeah. Because by the time you don't feel the frame to put it on. I don't know. That's 59 pounds, not bad because we've got a couple of deals, the hinges and that, didn't we? Yeah, got a couple of, well, those cupboard, but they're proper ones for cupboard, cupboard door openers. Kitchen doors. Yeah. So that would be brilliant. And then, then it just flip back and, but handles are £59. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Handles for 50p. Yeah. Mm. Four little handles, two handles for 50p, which is like the ones on the boat. Yeah, that's so we're, we're good to go now. <laughs> so the board is six foot by two foot, perfect. We just need to 
move the chair forward which is why we're going to have to have a little bit extra it's going to have to be flipped back when you're driving i've got to cut off 10 inches guys because um it's actually exactly six foot and if we bring the chair right forward it fits in just about perfect but obviously dad can't drive with the chair right forward so we need to chop off 10 inches and have this fold down when he's driving and he can flip it back up when it's in sleep mode <coughs> And uh, we need hinges for that, so we've got a pack of hinges, and we've got a, uh, a tube for a support. Right, and that's that in 62 inches, enough room to put our 10 inch bit there. And we've got, Jesus, we a gap there as well for the bikes and a little walkway. Forward, run it. Yeah, it's too far forward now. So that's how you adjust the, um, the backrest. You literally got to do it with pliers. Generator now for portable power, we don't have an extension lead long enough. <coughs> um, yeah, mum's washing a car over there now. Try to get on the market tonight. The uh, bed in here, guys, we've got a curve to get around, so it's just trial and error at the moment. That one now, but we got a corner here. Where's your fold down bit there? You're flat. Serious. <laughs> Look at us. Hang on. <laughs> Look at her face. Look at her. <laughs> so there we go. That's that attached. There we go. It flips down nicely. You can even go underneath if you wanted to. Suspected that corner is going to be a problem. I have to cut that out as well with the jigsaw. Right, so after a lot of cutting, we finally have um, managed to. Looks a bit nasty at the moment, but we'll get it looking nicer. Um, we finally managed to fit it in. We've lost about three or four inches, but we're gonna put another extension back there for Dad's feet. Got one bed post in. Hopefully we need to screw it to the floor. 25 centimetres. Uh, need another one down there. And then we need one on the outside, but the trouble is that's metal. So uh, we come to that we cross that bridge when we come to it. You have to put it in and hope it's there. It feels about there. <laughs> Baby, when you're asleep. Yeah. A bit rocky at the moment, but. Sort that out. Do for now. Yeah. And uh, that's not going to be able to come up yet. No. Extension. So we've got a wedge here. <laughs> so we've got that wedge support there. In now. And it's pretty solid actually. Take a lot to kick it out. Along here inside now. Look at that. Yeah. See? Yeah. Well, um, we've got another post in here now, guys. So we've got a lot of support now. Strong enough. Um, we just need to add in the post this side to see if it just fits. If we bring Dad's chair forward, you know, right to the max, and we have to turn it. See, look, guys. You don't sleep like that anyway. You don't sleep flat anyway, do you, on the back? I fit, just perfect. Sat on it, but I think we might need one more support just in the middle. Uh, we've got to do a quite a difficult job now. <laughs> is um, putting in this extra pole um, for the extra sticky out eight inches or whatever it is. So we've had to screw. Into the grommet, haven't we? Yeah, and the yeah. other. It's not affecting the window, it's well above the window. That's For nice. the curtain, I'm going to put it on now and have a look. Curtain's in. Lovely curtains, isn't they? Mm. We fold it back behind the kitchen area. It's alright, isn't it? When he goes to sleep. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we've done two curtains now. It's looking more like a camper every second. We've got this. Uh, 
one on and we, we found a use for the magnets now using them to keep magnets, magnets. ah using them to keep the uh the window uh the curtains back oh, that ends. hello hello hi hello <laughs> hi hello hi hello <laughs> hi hello hi hello go are you happy with that then yeah so you a bit well that's you happy with it Andy because you're the one that's got a I was waiting for that that's the bit I was waiting for <laughs> there we go guys all the curtains are done mm. just put some hooks in the gasket there that does the job yeah <laughs> we've had a bit of an afterthought here we can't <laughs> shut the boot now because the ramps in the way <laughs> won't go back. I can't measure it because anyway. the boat gone off the measurement. But because the yeah, because the bed is a bit too long. Yeah. Right, so we actually got it in now. Just about had to cut a little bit off. Yeah, she's starting beautifully now. I think it must be that key fob. Um, yeah. We have to cut a little bit off twice to make two adjustments. Um, that'll be covered up by the mattress, so you won't see those cuts. And um, yeah, might put some trim there as well. Got three lengths of trim to use up. And she, yes, yeah, she's coming together now. So, Mum's just washed all the car, a lovely job on it. Cleaned it all out. And I've just taken some photos to put it up on the marketplace tonight. Day three now. No offers on the car yet. No messages or nothing. But I put the price down a bit to sixteen hundred and seven, seventeen hundred and fifty. Um. Yeah, it's Tuesday. I really want to get going. You know, I really want to need to get going, but I can't. I've got to do this. Mum and Dad. Mum and Dad have to go to the doctors today. A check up again, shift now, hour and halfway. Um, so I'm gonna be getting on with this today, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna take this cupboard apart, chop a bit off at the end because it's too long, really. I need to adjust it, and I'm uh, just gonna put in another a new post here. Um, that's out the way because the old one obviously was in the way, so let's screw that in. Big problem here. I can't unscrew it though. I can unscrew the mount. Easy. That was lucky. I've measured it, I think if I take about an inch off, it should fit in there perfectly. Okay, that's perfect. That's what I wanted. See, that's still won't lock in. I had to take the post out down there and move that back, which I'll do in a minute. But this is the latest problem. I think once we get in there, we'll be all right. So I'm gonna drill a hole out. I did saw a little hole, but it's too wide to go. Not the truth. Nice. Oh, come on. There we go. Finally. We did it. The next pressure point would be this here. But luckily, she fits in nice. Yeah, so, the cupboard, or the counter is in now. And I've made them a lot more straighter. It's not perfect, but I didn't want to have to chop it again. Because um, that's okay just do that part. I would have liked to have... Um, use these but I realise why they're cheap now because they don't come with one of these missing one of these things um, which means I wouldn't need a latch and I just got to use these regular things and I don't have any latches this one cupboard door in they go into the doctors now in Telford well, the cupboards are coming together nicely now got my bottom trim down here Two cupboards, 
the support in here now in the middle which that means I can use that screw hole again and also that will be where the catches magnetic catches probably will go to I put a bit of trim on each part of this cupboard and it will look a lot nicer when it's done it's coming together nicely now got a little shelf in here um, which is secure except for that way which I have to try and get a screw in there somehow but um yeah, the reason I've left this for no shelf is because, um, you know, you might want to put something tall there, and we might we're probably going to get a sink for here as well. So I don't want to start building things there, and uh, there'd be no room for it, you know. I'm starting to put on the trimmer now, guys. And it's looking all right. So this bit is covering up the gaps between the cupboards. This bit is covering up the gap between the cupboard and the table and everything else yeah it looks a lot nicer um, obviously everything's all different wood and colours so I think we're all we're just gonna paint it white or something that's an afterthought this bloody ramp is getting on my nerves um, so I'm gonna have to take a bit off this we almost had it guys but we need to go all the way back to this cupboard here <laughs> what a nightmare did it guys these are the bolts they were still on underneath but one of them weren't they've come very loose but um yeah I've had to get two 13 mils one at the top holding it in one at the bottom undoing it but it was a very slow process because I could only turn it like not even a quarter of a rotation but yeah now I can move this forward which is what needs to happen well, there we go, so I've got about four screws in there stopping it moving now, and it's in, literally in. Moves a bit more than I like though. It's coming together quite nicely now guys. Just installed this so you can't see the gap between the two cupboards. <coughs> got handles, so I'll get those handles on soon. With these handles I've got to drill a hole first. And then um, put one of these little blue screws through, tighten it up, and then I guess I can find out where the next one will be then, because I can just twist it, you know? Getting on now, this is taking me all day to do. The cupboard is pretty much done, a few bits I need to do on it, additional bits, maybe a bit of trim here, a bit of trim there, a bit of trim everywhere, but I'm running out. I've got one length left. got a few off cuts, but... You know, I might need it for somewhere else. But anyway, yeah. Starting to put some panels on this. Uh, gonna have a little cupboard there. Don't have any hinges though. I knew I should have bought more hinges. Um, probably have a little cupboard down there as well. I had an idea. This is a, a little bracket you put up. And you can push back down. And um, I was going to use it for a table over there. But I was thinking, it might be better here for the extra bit of bed instead of tapping in some screws into the metal work mum and dad are out again dad's got to go to the doctors this time oh yeah I actually edited a video today so it's a bit later today because you know I need to do some editing as well otherwise I run out of videos anyway yeah put this back as far as I possibly could and snap the screw so what I'm thinking is this when the block mattress is up, it's going to go to here anyway, and there's not much extra. There's going to be so much more weight this side that, you know, a little overhang won't cause any problems. And it will wedge against the seat. Just using the thingy. Bump to bump it up. Well, now that is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let's bring the seat forward and have a look. As you can see, I've got it in sleep mode. Just about. <clears throat> now, uh, I greatly underestimated how big this bloody blow up thing was going to be, you know. Um, <clears throat> the overhang is way, way further than I thought. So, Dad has to put this chair forward, the backrest. That wouldn't be a problem, you know. 
if it was easy to do. Oh, look at that guys, I've added another support in. That's perfect. There's nowhere else to mount it. This is wet metal down here, don't really want to tap and die. Um, but yeah, I can actually screw into this uh, grey plastic, which is great. It's the only place I could mount it. So that's giving it extra strength now. Maybe need a little extra bit there, but I think we'll be fine. The thing is, now I don't have that, I've got some brackets freed up, hinges, um, which I can put the shells on down here now. So that's good. I've had to cut it in half though. It took ages to cut through that with the um, bone saw. <sighs> wow. Uncovered in. There you are. Um, these bits and trimming down the bottom on here and something in here to stop the cupboard over swinging. It's one of those jobs where you need like five hands to do it and you, you got to try and prop something up. You gotta find the perfect bit. What I've got is a little head head box, your little uh, your drill driver, and a bracket, and that is the perfect height. Luckily, so that's going in now. I'll go back to you when it's done. Nice, right, that cupboard is in, and I've put the handle on. Yeah, it's starting to shape up quite well. This little camper. It didn't go so well, as you can see the screws came through the other side. The ones that it comes with, I've lost half of them and I don't, they're not very good anyway. These ones are rubbish. Um, so the only screws I had were these ones, the big enough thread. That's the correct thread, those ones, they're too long. I would like to use one of these, but they, the thread were too small. So I had to use these, not really a problem, you can't see them that much, but a bit of sandpaper just to scrape it down because I don't want the pop in the mattress. Okay guys it's been a long time since I've spoken to you but I've been hard at work okay. This is why because I put in another shelf. Secret shelf see? Not a shelf I mean a cupboard. <clears throat> it's for you know rear loading. Um, why is it so flimsy because I've only got one bracket on there come with the other bits for it. I mean that's not even how you're supposed to bit it in, I know that. <coughs> but it works anyway, so I could put this one on but I haven't got enough clearance, see, because it goes up like that in an incline. You know I lose you know too much room and I can't put one in. So it's fine like that. You can use this one for somewhere else. Probably here. I'll put another one in. We'll see. I've done the trim for those cupboards there now. Not too much left to do really. I put a shelfing up here as you can see because you've got 10 mil, three 10 mil holes here, threads. Um, obviously you want two in there really don't you? But I've only got one bolt in the moment, I don't know where the rest are. So it's just a tester but the only thing, how wobbly it is. Um, so I definitely need two in there, just a test, to send in it, but it takes up so much room. Yeah, and you've got to put the spare, you've got to put the spare wheel there, mm. really? Yeah. You've got to put the spare wheel there. So, so uh, Dad's going to be parking at uh, Wheaton Aston, isn't he? Yeah. Which is 12 minute drive, or 15 minute, or whatever. It's annoying though, isn't it, because it's 15 minutes there, 15 minutes back. Yeah. He gets diesel from there every week normally, doesn't he? Mm. So now you have to ask him, Josh. And then he can use the toilet there, can't he? <laughs> it's a bit impractical in here. Ideally, we'd have a slidey up thing here and the bed would be a bit higher. Um, I just thought of an idea that we should have thought of. We should have done a flippy up thing there. You could flip that up and then have the toilet in there. Underneath, that would have been a good idea, wouldn't yeah. it? So, can I stay in the van with Dad every yeah, weekend? You can go, go with Dad. For now, guys. Just as much work as I need to do on it for now. You know, got the basics in there, cupboard, bed, curtains, that's it. All the rest, electrics. We're getting a solar panel for it. Dad's ordered a solar panel. The stereo, the, well, it did come, but they forgot to bring it back. So that's good, couldn't put that in. Dad would have to put that in on the weekend. Um, yeah, 
Got some electrics, got some lights, and we'll get it all sorted.